see how dark it is out there and it's only 640. I remember just a month or two ago where it well it was um lighty out until about nine o'clock. So Becca did not vlog at all today. Lazy. And I don't ever bring my camera with me to work or our camera with me to work to my work. And um so uh, she didn't vlog anything, and so our first recorded images on our Volo Day 9 comes at 6.40 p.m. Today was very, very hectic. I got up at, um, I got up at 4, 4, 4.30, 4 o'clock, sometime around there, and I left, took care of my issues with my missing key. I didn't get to really start working until around 11.30, even though I left the house at 4.45, and I got home at 6. So, 14-hour day. I'm tired. We're going to try to do a tag. Don't know what kind of tag. Becca has an idea. I'm a little weary of tags, but we'll be okay. And, um... So, if you want a lot of action, watch our vlogs from uh, Saturday, which had lots of action. Otherwise, tonight's going to be really boring, just kind of sitting around. But, we're committed to try to vlog every day in October. So, you have to get the good and the bad. And that's about it. I'm going to go and uh, start eating something and... Becca will start our tag. Hi guys, today Sean and I are going to do a tag that we saw Luke and Miss Glamorazzi do, or Ingrid, today. So we thought it'd be really fun to go ahead and do it as well. So say hi, Sean. Hi, Sean. We're going to do this tag, and we're going to do numbers 1 through 5. I'm going to answer the questions, and then Sean's going to answer the questions. And then we'll have part 2 tomorrow on our vlog. That way we're not throwing the camera back and forth like you are doing right now. Yes. Okay, the first one is, where did you grow up? I grew up in upstate New York. Um, number 2, were you a good kid? I think I was a pretty good kid. I didn't, like, do drugs or you know, hang out with a bad crowd or anything. I went to church and I was on our worship team. And yeah, I tried to be a good kid, I guess. Uh, number three, what was your worst punishment? Um, I think my, when I was like maybe five or six years old, I think my dad spanked me, not even that hard, but it scared me. <laughs> so I think I only got spanked like once ever. So I guess that was the worst one. <clears throat> Number four, what did you do during summers? <clears throat> um, well, what I would usually do is I would help out different, like, kid activities during the summers. Like, um, where I lived, I had a church across the street from me, but it wasn't the church that we went to when I was growing up. But I would go and help out, like, they had, like, a day program for kids, and I would go and help that out. And then at the church we go to, I... Most every year I was a mascot for VBS, which is Vacation Bible School. That was interesting. So I loved working with kids, so it was a lot of fun to do all those things. And then number five is, what is your best childhood memory? I think I was like maybe nine or ten. Sorry, Mom and Dad, if I don't remember this. The exact age, they're probably gonna be mad. Um, but I remember one year I really I wanted a or a guitar so like I wanted that was the only thing I wanted, and I didn't get it, and then I was kind of bummed. And then my mom and dad said, "Wait, we have one more gift," and they brought it out, and I was so happy, so so happy, and I still play guitar to this day. Not the best, I'm better at the piano. But, I mean, that was a memory I will never forget. So, I guess so. We'll answer the questions now. Yeah, sorry. What did you, did you, I didn't hear a thing you said. Just kidding. My eyes dark? Yeah, you, you look like you have no eyeballs. 
really got to do something about this lighting in here. We could just say it's the Halloween edition. So go go ahead. Let's see. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, go ahead and ask me questions. Watch question out, Molly. All right, the first one is, where did you grow up? I grew up in the People's Republic of Vermont. Next. Two, where you're a good kid. <clears throat> yep. Next. <laughs> no, uh, I had problems on Sundays, from what I heard. Like, I was kind of bad on Sundays, but Monday through Saturday, you I was good. Bad. I don't know. My mom always says that... <sighs> sweating in here. My mom always says that I was bad on Sundays. Like, I would act up on Sundays for some reason. You know, like five, six years old, temper tantrums and all that. But if Monday through Saturday, I was fine. That's weird. Okay. Number three. What was your worst punishment? I can't really recall any bad punishments. My parents were never really the punishing type. There's uh, <laughs> You know, we didn't have cell phones or... TVs. Yeah, TVs. We had TVs back no, then. No, in my room. Actually, I did have a TV in my room. So I was going to say, like, I never had things taken away from me for, as a punishment. Um, then my parents didn't believe in time out. Except they used to put me in a bedroom, my bedroom, if I was bad for like an hour or two to calm down. Usually on Sundays. <laughs> um, but... I can't recall any severe punishment, except for the time that my dad whipped me 69 times with a cat of nine tails. Just kidding, that wasn't. I was like, that was Jesus. That was sorry. That was Jesus. I got confused. <laughs> oh no, I don't really recall any punishment. So uh, maybe I, I am. I don't know. All right, number four is what did you do during summers? What I did during summer, I mostly played video games. And I used to ride my bike a lot. See, I never really had a summer vacation, necessarily, because I was homeschooled my entire childhood. So it was like, <laughs> I scared Molly with my foot. So it was like, as a homeschooled person, an autodidicate, as they call them, <laughs> um, I... Um, you know, I would do my schoolwork for a set amount of time. So, like, I never had that, I can't wait to get out of school and go on summer vacation. Because every day was kind of like a vacation. And the last one is, number five, what is your best childhood memory? <sighs> my best childhood memory. I can't really remember. I don't know. Like, how do you pick that? I know, there's a lot. I I'm terrible. Lot. I'm terrible at, like, picking favorites of things. Oh favorite movie, favorite book, favorite TV show. I can't just pick them. But I should, I should at least add one that's good. Love Childhood <laughs> memory. <laughs> well, it's so, we just had a, an emergency. Batteries died. After one week, it was about a week, right? After one week of vlogging, these but this but the blah, blah. that was a blooper. This pack of batteries, I was combining pack and batteries. This pack of batteries was six dollars. I don't think I can afford vlogging every week. Six dollars a week. Oh God. Not even chargeable cons. Anyway. So, the question I was on before that what happened... What was your best childhood number? Oh, okay, so my decision was to just pick something. Because I don't can't necessarily pick the best memory. I, maybe some people can. I'm just... Uh, I don't know. I'm a little slow, I guess. But what it is... The one I'll pick is my dog, Max. And Beck is making the pelt face over here. Because he's no longer with us. I had a dog named Max, and um, in my life I've known two Maxes, and one... Both of them are dogs. <laughs> both of them are dogs, okay. One of them's a good dog, and that was my dog from my childhood. And me and my dad used to, and Susie, my sister, when she was uh, old enough, she, we used to take Max down into the uh, field at the college which we, we lived on a we lived across from a a private college here there in Vermont and um, so there was a soccer field and during the off season nobody used it so look at him so we would take Max to the field 
And Max, he, he was not an outdoor dog. He couldn't handle being outdoors without a leash, I mean. If you unleashed, he was part Cocker Spaniel, part Labrador, so um, we would take him for a treat. And the treat was to run around free in the, in the soccer field. And I know that's not one memory, that's several. But um, I used to have a lot of fun doing that. And that was another thing we did a lot in the summer. So letting Max go in the field, that was a cool memory. Childhood memory. Is that it? Or is there another one? Is that it? What? There's five more, but we're going to do it as... Oh, that, I mean, is that it for this one? Yeah. All right. So that's my answers to that. So we hope that you guys enjoyed this, and if you want to, please have a video response of your answers, or you can just leave your answers in the comments, right? Yeah, that would be cool if somebody's watching this and they want to do uh, like a, video a response. response yeah. yeah, absolutely. That would be cool. We will definitely watch it. Yeah. So we hope you're doing well, and we'll see you guys tomorrow with part two. Bye!